Tikana Wind Power Project is the single largest private investment in Kenya. It stretches across 40,000 acres in the country's north. The first phase is already completed, with 120 of 365 turbines up and running. The rest is slated for the middle of this year. As far as Kenya is concerned, this puts Kenya on the map in terms of renewable energy because you're going to have 310 megawatts of wind energy, the largest in the African continent. Uh, but beyond that, I think it will be proof of the fact that in a country such as Kenya, a complex project of this nature can successfully be brought to completion and at that in a remote part of Kenya. The wind farm at some 680 million US dollars aims to provide 310 megawatts of power to Kenya's national grid, equivalent to up to 18% of the country's current electricity generating capacity. The power produced will be bought at a fixed price by Kenya Power and Lighting Company over a 20-year period. But that's not yet complete. The power line built by state-run Kenya Transmission Company has been delayed, primarily by demands for compensation from landowners along the route. There are delays, unfortunately. We are currently in discussions with the government of Kenya uh, with regard to how to handle the delays in the transmission line. We, as I said, we are ready to transmit 100 megawatts. And uh, if the transmission line had been ready, we would be transmitting that as we speak today. But I think um, there are always ways to structure or restructure uh, this project so that even though there's a huge financial implication, this can uh, be mitigated. Hopes are also pinned on the project ushering in development in this remote region. When we started, there were so many people, up to 900 people working, local people working in this project. Quite a number of them are thinking of having campsites, or uh, resort places because they think the, this big wind power will obviously attract tourists who could easily go up to the mountain because the mountain is also good for tourists and they are already thinking ahead of time that they may have they want to have some places of that kind. Lake Takana Wind Power has established the Winds of Change Foundation, which sees a portion of operating revenue put towards improving the livelihoods of communities in the area. But those behind the wind power project say its benefits will be felt across the country. In terms of um, supply, it, it ensures that there is more than adequate supply for the demand that exists in the country. Secondly, it is additional supply at um, less expensive rates. The fact that we have this project and the transmission line that is being built by the government of Kenya, um, crossing or traversing five counties that prior to this had no access to the national grid, means that those counties now will have power available to them. There's a lot of space for renewable energy, specifically wind energy, in Kenya going forward. But for now, we are focused primarily on completing this project successfully and ensuring that the project comes online before we can be able to contemplate expansion projects. Kenya is grappling with growing demand for power. It already relies heavily on renewables such as geothermal and hydropower. Harnessing Kenya's wind will give its supply a much needed boost. Clementine Logan, CGTN, Loyangalani in northern Kenya.